What's up guys? It is slightly cold today. Only 49 degrees. Probably feels like 35. It's pretty chilly. So I have semi-scripted today's photo vlog just so I'm not completely rambling. But still, it's, you know, stuff that's not... It's still stuff that's not completely important. But, you know, I like making these videos. So, here we go. So we've talked in the past about uh, Thanksgiving Day traditions for those days, but coming up is a different type of holiday known as Christmas. I know at least one of you does not like this season, but that's okay. Not everybody likes this time of year. So my big question is, what are your Christmas traditions. I don't really have anything big that we do. The only thing I have is on December 2nd, which is my anniversary, my wife and I decorate our tree that day, normally. But we both have stuff going on this year, so I don't know. That's either going to happen early or late. I guess we'll figure it out, won't we? Other than that, you know, for Christmas, we do our own thing at our house the day of, because I usually have it off, and she has every other one off. Um, and then we go to her mom's for lunch or dinner, and then we go to my mom's for the opposite, usually. I know this year it's probably going to work out that way because I think we all have Christmas off this year. I don't really do much to celebrate the new year. I try to stay up late enough, but anymore I, I can't. I'm in bed by like 11. But this year I'm pretty excited considering, you know, I'm going to be a dad next, this upcoming year. So it should be, should be a good year. A stressful year, but a good one nonetheless. So another thing I want to do is give a shout out to a few moto vloggers that I'm subscribed to and they've also subscribed to me, but I like watching their videos and they always seem to watch mine, so we'll just give a shout out to a few moto vloggers. Cave Troll, 402, Father Time, Anthony C. Robertson, Hippo Drones. Those guys always seem to watch my videos and I'll just give them a little shout out. Thanks for your support. Today's corny fact of the day, brought to you by me, because I'm telling it to you. If any of you are old enough to know who Johnny Carson is, he was born in Nebraska. Not only Nebraska, but my hometown of Norfolk, Nebraska. So that's your corny fact of the day. So a restaurant that we're getting here in town pretty soon, I'm not exactly sure when, but it's called Raising Canes. Now I hear it's just like chicken fingers or whatever. I'm really not too sure what it is. And I hear like the thing to die for there is their sauce that they have. So I'm pretty excited to try it, but at the same time, it's just chicken fingers. If that's all it is. I mean, what's so exciting about chicken fingers? I can go to the store and buy my own. Chicken fingers. I love me a good chicken finger. And actually, a chicken strip basket from Dairy Queen is one of my favorite uh, chicken-ish meals to get. So, I don't know. They got to top that. But, I don't know. Maybe you guys know what Raising Cane's is or if you've had it before. Let me know. I want to know what it's like. And if that's, is that all they have is chicken fingers? I don't know. Yeah, I could do the research, but it's more fun to ask you guys. Speaking of food and being fat, Burger King has this new burger called the Farmhouse King. Oh my god. That's my favorite thing from Burger King right now. It's just a burger with a fried egg, a crap ton of bacon, and a delicious sauce. I just love it. It's so good. I get that with some onion rings and their little tangy sauce. Oh my god. It's almost food time for me, so, you know, that's all I'm thinking about right now is num nums. I feel trapped. Man, I look good. 
So I know I've talked about my foster kids before. I just thought I'd uh, point out today. Well, for one, you know, I'm not... Before we had these foster kids, we didn't have any kids. So, I mean, this was our first taste of parenting. Other than my brother's kids. But my brother's kids, my nieces, you know, I could sugar them up and send them home. But these guys, if I sugar them up, I have to suffer the consequences. Anyway. So, I'm pretty proud of the little two-year-old. He is uh, finally dressing himself with very, very little assistance, and it's great. It's awesome because before, when we'd get him up early in the morning to go to his visit or, you know, whatever, whatever the case was, you'd get the four-year-old up and have him get dressed or go potty and then get dressed, and then you'd have to manually dress the two-year-old. But we taught him how to dress himself, and it is so nice. And the funny thing is, is when you get him up so early, he takes so long to get out of bed, so all I do is I pick him up and stand him up on the floor, and he has those little sleepy wobbles like he's drunk. That's so funny. But anyway, so he's dressing himself, and also he's probably almost done with potty training as well. Uh, we're taking the final step to get him out of his pull-ups. And uh, he's pretty good. He's letting us know when he has to go potty at least, I'd say at least half the time. So that's a good thing. Uh, still having a little bit of trouble with the four-year-old as far as nighttime went in the bed, but that's okay. You know, it's a work in progress. But I have to say, pretty successful uh, for my first little ticket parenting and it's going to be really sad when they go back home because we've really fallen in love with these kids but that's just part of the thing you sign up for and you know the heartbreak will soon subside because of our own kid coming and uh, the time of them going home and the time of our kid arriving is pretty close so you know recovery time won't be too bad so for those of you that are parents already what is the biggest piece of advice that you would give to a brand new parent? I would throw mine out there, but <laughs> I don't have any yet. I don't have any advice yet. You know, the biggest thing when we first knew that we were getting these two boys as foster kids was the wife and I sat down and we thought of some rules that we were going to make. And, you know, being naive as we are, we made these elaborate rules that we were going to stri be strict and follow to. And when they get here and you're just so tired that you just don't care and you just give up. And then all your rules get thrown out the door. But the one thing that we did keep with these guys is their manners. And they are well behaved kids. They have great manners. And we didn't have to teach them the manners so it was really good. They say please and thank you and they ask for stuff. and They don't just take... At least not all the time. So we really got lucky in this case. You always hear about the horror stories of foster care where you get those kids that just have all kinds of problems and they have behaviors all the time. Well, that's not this case. We got two amazing little boys and their parents are really good people. And uh, the good news for them is that, you know, hopefully they'll be going home pretty soon. Man, my thighs are getting cold. I should get some chaps. Yeah, these jeans are just not cutting it. You know, when it gets even colder, I usually put on like sweatpants underneath my jeans, which does the job pretty well, actually. I just didn't feel like it today. I should have. All right, it's time for the uh, dad joke testing. Two guys walk into a bar. The third one ducks. <laughs> Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food. No atmosphere. <laughs> How many apples grow on a tree? All of them. <laughs> How can you tell if an ant is a boy or a girl? They're all girls. Otherwise, they'd be called uncles. <laughs> I've been trying to lose weight for a while now, but it keeps finding me. <laughs> Alright, that's enough dad jokes. I'm kind of running dry on the good dad jokes. These are kind of getting down there in the nitty gritty. Crap.
I keep forgetting to use the jokes that you guys put in there. I think I have two, maybe three, that you guys have put in that I wanted to use. Oh, New Jersey. You should be comfortable here. It's nice and chilly. So one thing I want to try out next summer is a sports bike. Now, I'm sure some of you guys have your favorites and your preferences and whatever, and brands and everything you want to tell me to get, but and go ahead and leave those comments. You know, I'm open to the good, the bad, and everything in between. And it's not like I'm going to buy one anytime soon, but I'd like to try one out just to know what it's like. I mean, this is the only motorcycle I've ever been on. I've never ventured out and tried anything else. I've ridden on the back of sports bikes, but I've never owned one or, you know, ridden one as as the driver. So I want to try it, know what it's like. And this thing has good gas mileage, but it does suck down the gas pretty quick compared to what I would think a sports bike does. Oh my god, no. Okay, that wasn't smart, but it sure was fun. <laughs> oh. Come on, guy. Give me a chance. That was horse bucky. That dude just went 90. <laughs> oh. I was going to try and maybe catch a little race in there, but he's going back towards town. And I don't want to get caught. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> So I had notes written down for stuff to say, and since I went and tried to keep up with that guy, half of my front page ripped off. <laughs> good times, good times. Well, I've pretty much done all of my scripts, so yeah. And I think I got a good ride in. I started off in a place that I don't normally start, so hopefully you guys got a little different scenery. So my script is done, and I'm running out of things to say. So thanks for tuning in on another episode of North Fork Vulcan Motor Vlogs. Moto Vlogs. And uh, we'll catch you.